And this next question came in in regards to my Anchor speaker review where we showed uh, how it sounds using its internal microphone and very quickly switching from my studio audio to it. And I wanted to show you uh, how that was done. So I use uh, Final Cut Pro and I've got a portion of the video out here. So what I've got up here is my audio so you can hear me talking. And this clip lines up with this Halo test that I did uh, from the device itself. So it's separate audio, but Final Cut has a really neat feature uh, called Synchronize Clips. And what it can do is listen to both and actually get them perfectly in sync. So we're going to call this one uh, Synced Up Clip. And what it will do uh, is automatically sync the two together and we'll get a new clip here on the timeline uh, that I can drop right in. So I can just get my uh, ins and out points here set and drag it onto my timeline. And now I have a video clip with both audio uh, versions contained inside of it, but it's defaulting to uh, the file that I brought over. So listen to it now. I have some speakerphone capabilities and just to get- So you can hear we've got kind of the, the bad audio from the, micro, from the speaker's microphone. So I'm gonna just put a blade in here, right in this spot here. And I'm going to click on now this separated clip. And instead of the connected audio, I'm going to click on Storyline and undo the connected. And now when I play this back, listen to it. The speaker is away from me here. Uh, we're going to now do an audio test of that. So there you go, that's how it sounds. It's very easy to integrate a separate audio clip with your other video. So it's important when you're shooting video and using an external microphone, for example, to always make sure your camera is recording audio also because it uses the audio to sync it up. And I've been using this feature for uh, both this but also multi-camera editing for some time. And it's amazing how good it is. I think Premiere does a very similar thing and uh, it really saves a ton of time because really we spent all of maybe 30 seconds uh, implementing this thing to get that effect that we had in that review. Good stuff, very easy to do on Final Cut Pro and I think on Premiere too. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.